In today's video, we're going to talk about the story of Tope Awotona, the founder of the popular app Calendly. But before we start, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to click the bell icon to be notified for future videos. Tope Awotona was born in Lagos, Nigeria. His maternal grandmother was the founder of a successful import-export textile company. Her success enabled her to send all her children to university, a rare feat at the time. Her mother held two jobs, the first as co-owner of a small pharmacy and the second as a manager of the Central Bank of Nigeria. His father started as a microbiologist for Unilever, but later left the company to become an entrepreneur. Of the many businesses he found, his greatest success was a distributor of industrial chemicals. Temitope Awotona has since recognized his parents as his greatest role models. When Awotona was 12, his father was murdered in a carjacking. He has since recalled how a group of men followed his father home and asked him for his car keys. After he threw the keys at them, they shot him at close range. Tope Awotona witnessed it all. The tragedy left him with post-traumatic stress disorder. For several months, he couldn't eat or sleep. Even now, he still suffers from insomnia, something he attributes directly to the experience he went through. Shortly after his father's death, Tope and his family moved to the United States where they settled in Atlanta. Baba Tope Awotona graduated from high school at only 15 years old. He was then offered admission to a university. Although he was happy to be accepted, his mother was concerned about his ability to adjust to college life at such a young age. After he arrived, it was decided that Awotona would finish his junior and senior years first. After finally leaving school, he studied management information systems at the University of Georgia. Tope Awotona is the founder and CEO of Calendly, a simple and elegant scheduling tool that helps you plan meetings without all the back and forth emails. How did this come about? Tope grew up in Nigeria and moved to the United States as a teenager. After graduating from the University of Georgia, he landed a job at IBM as a sales representative. As previously mentioned, Calendly is a scheduling software company that aims to simplify the process of scheduling meetings and appointments. Since its inception in 2013, the startup has grown exponentially. In its latest funding round, it closed a $350 million investment from OpenView Venture Partner and Iconic. The funding round values the startup at just over $3 billion. Awotona's first foray into business came at the age of 8, after noticing that the cash register he was using at his part-time job at a pharmacy wasn't adding up correctly. He designed a feature for registers that allows them to use character recognition optics to determine which bills are used and dispensed. After patenting his idea, he contacted NCR, the leading cash register company at the time, to pitch his idea. They were impressed, but at the moment, Awotona froze. Stunned by the speed at which things were moving, he eventually turned down NCR's offer to buy his patent and gave up pursuing his plans. After several years, he pitched various startup ideas without success, but something extraordinary was about to happen. Awotona struck gold in 2013 when he came up with the idea for Calendly. In an interview with MSN, Awotona explained how the idea was inspired by a personal need. What led me to create a scheduling product, he explained, was my personal need. I was trying to schedule a meeting, but it took way too many emails to do so, and I became frustrated. After searching the market for scheduling products, Awotona encountered a problem. None of them allowed multiple users to share availability. Spotting a gap in the market, he decided it was time to fill it. Tope's mother was diagnosed with cancer around the time he wanted to develop his ideas. The road became bumpy. After many failed ideas, the man launched Calendly, an app that allows people to schedule meetings without going through the hassle of email. Several years later, Calendly has more than 20 million subscribers and over $60 million in annual revenue. His mother passed away the same year Calendly was born. Speaking of his parents, Tope said, 
I wish they could see what Calendly is now. Tope Awotona currently has a net worth of about $1.4 billion. This concludes our video about Tope Awotona, a great African businessman. Entrepreneurship is the future. If you have the bug, then don't be afraid. Go for it. The worst that can happen is that you fail. Don't worry. Get up and try again. Do you want to monetize your skill as well? Click the link below to sign up for our training in digital entrepreneurship and start climbing the ladder to success. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Until then, keep smiling.